Hey, welcome to this lesson. Now, this is the exciting one. We're going to be learning how to copy and move files. So, I've just gone to my home folder and now for ls, just the normal folders. So, remember we learned how to create the simple text file. I'm just going to call it test. And now if we ls, there is the, where's my cursor? So, there is the test file, sorry. Um, yeah, so we'll just create one more file called hello, and now we ls, and test, and hello. So one of them we're going to move, and one of them we're going to copy. So the first one we're going to move, hello and now the file path so the file path if you don't know what a file path is uh, I'm going to try and explain it here but I'm not sure if I'll have enough time so if you don't ex understand the file path then you might have to look uh, around for that but it shouldn't be too hard so at the moment we are in do you remember how we learnt cd dot dot? Dot dot means up one directory. cd dot means the same directory. That's exactly where you are. Which means that the directory you are in is always dot. So what we do is dot the directory we're already in and then the slash tells it, okay, so from the directory we're in into the next folder, which we want desktop. So we're going to move hello into desktop. And there it is. Now if we ls, we moved it, so it won't be there anymore. Now, if we wanted to copy test, it's cp. So same deal, test, and then the file path, dot slash desktop. Now, that will copy it. There we go. It showed up right on top of it for some reason. Um, so there's test, and if we ls, test should still be here. Yes. And if you already know what the file path is, then the, you could probably leave now, but I'm going to explain it a little more. So if we cd into dot slash desktop, cd is basically so if we tried to cd into the desktop now there's no such directory but if we went dot cd dot dot desktop it's going up one directory and then into desktop so dot dot and dot and the single dot is one dot is the directory you're already in and two dots is up one directory so if if you get to learn the file path you can go right, so I could copy, so at the moment I'm in the dust, no, blah, 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 desktop. So I could move the test into slash. I don't need a dot now because remember the slash represents the root directory. So we're going from the root directory to into users slash Noah Macbook, that's my user, and that's where we want it. We just want it in users and Noah Macbook, which is the same thing as my home folder. So now, if I move that, so it's gone from here. Now if I come back down here, cd dot dot, back into my home folder, and ls, there it is. Actually, I think we ended up copying that in the first place. So I'll show you the same thing, but with the hello. There we go. So hello's gone, and cd dot dot back up here, ls, and here's hello. So 
I would recommend getting to know the file system. Uh, have a look through your files so you know what your user is, know what the root is. So it makes it a lot easier for you to learn all of the commands. So now a challenge for you, try and remember how to delete both those files because I'm pretty sure we won't need them for the rest of the tutorials. Uh, but thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe.